Uh, let's see. The Wanderer ever do a Factorio server with fans? Uh, I've done it in the past. I don't really enjoy being trolled in it too much because it gets real boring because I actually have shit I want to get done. Okay, you should find some as you explore. Good. So hopefully that means it'll just expand. Hey, thank you AJ buddy for the 25 month resub. Thank you so much. All right, let's give this a go. Hopefully it works. And maybe we'll find it. It doesn't seem like it's immediately like an amazingly necessary resource. And since it spreads, hopefully it'll spread back into the chunks that I'm in. I don't know. I got a lot of high fire firepower mods too, so it should help. Uh, let's see. So how are we looking at this? These are just going slow. Every everything is going maximum speed, which is to say, not nearly fast enough. Uh, let's see. But then again, we don't need that many belts, so this can go real slow. Let me take a look. So I was working on getting more iron. We should probably store more of this. Maybe? Maybe. Should probably work on copper is the real answer. I just don't wanna? Where are these going? Okay. Well, we have underground belts, actually. So if we have the underground belts, I absolutely can do copper. Yeah, let's let's just do that. This get this can be ripped up. We've we've got enough copper plates for a little while. Oops, stop that. All of you stop that. This is bad. Okay. Grab that. Yeah, let's just let's just tear up this entire business and make a proper copper field. What we might even want to do is actually uh Do we want to reroute the coal? That's gonna be a bit of a pain. I know I have a oh. Okay, I have a mod that makes it so underground belts have a longer distance. Based on speed. That'll have to do. Okay. So I'm just going to do that for the time being, and hopefully this just empties out. It is not. We apparently are not burning a whole lot of coal here. Okay. Hey, we finished with fast inserters. So I think we should get turrets going. I... Let me check pollution. It's starting to spread. We've got a little ways before it's going to start touching biter camps, but... I would prefer to be proactive instead of reactive when it comes to defend defending my setup. Because the last... Generally, whenever I play Factorio, I always get beasted. Because I'm like, oh, you know, we've still got some time. we got still got some time. we still got some time, and then I'm dead. It's like, oh, don't do that. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I'll just put a full chest here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... Spare coal, just in case I need it. Eventually I'll increase my inventory space. That'll be later. Okay. Let's see. Up and over. 
Okay. So we're going to need some more shoots. Luckily, we have plenty. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Unfortunately, the power poles present a bit of an issue with that one, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Put that one over there. And do this. Okay. So the biggest immediate issue is, once again, fitting it all around my kind of weirdly restrictive power pull limitations. How am I extending it this far? Because I know if I want to have a nice looking setup, I got to put this down on a grid. And eventually, once we get the seal pulls, they should all just touch. Okay. 150, boy. Oh, mining drone productivity. And mining drone speed. So we do have those upgrades. Cool. Okay, let's do stone walls so I can start producing them. Okay. Maybe let's let's switch this up. With my iron setup. This is ugly. I don't like it. Well, okay. I guess we only have to have it be ugly for one section. Because, yeah, we're just not going to have the space otherwise. Well, ugly is as ugly does. And I am hideous. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Spread this over here. Wow, we've already got the walls. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna want to have some kind of crazy wall crafting industry that just will let me cover this entire base if I can. I don't know. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Oh. And we need a little bit more power here. Yeah, I'd rather have like a silly amount of walls covering this entire base. Uh because I don't I don't have Acme Boy. That's the real answer here. Whenever I whenever we play this Mastorio style. Uh, specific fan, Acme Boy, would always be in charge of base defenses. That just... He was real good at it. And that's just what he'd do. Every single time. So I'm gonna have to actually rely on myself. Alright. There we go. That's That should be some basic copper. Ooh. like this song. Ah, Rex. Deja Vu, Approaching Nirvana, got it. Anything from Approaching Nirvana is pretty good. I should listen to them more. Okay. Here's the other thing I should probably do real quick. is give this the opportunity to merge. Let's see. There we go. Because, yeah, the shoots aren't quite there yet. Once we have the loaders, it won't be a big deal. 
Wando, thank you for the shout out. Dude, your single handed base defense, the very first like successful mass Torio we ever did, uh, has stuck with me for way longer than I expected it would. I mean, you've been around for a lot of other things too, but. Uh, it. I always. I. I guess I always felt kind of guilty. Because. You know, everybody was all off working on their own industries, and you were just, like, staging a single-handed defense against uh, the murder hordes on your own. Okay, we're gonna need some more transport belts. Let's just, um, let's just route some of this iron over. But yeah, maybe maybe once I'm done with the Fable series or something, we'll do a mass story with the uh, with the wave defense mode running, because I think that could be really fun. Okay, there we go. That should be a heck of a lot more gear wheels now. Enough, enough ish. Okay. Uh, let's see, steel processing, yeah, yeah, let's go steel processing next. We might want to get another lab, but it's not a huge... Let's see. It's not a huge priority here. It should be better. One fears is going to start uh, backing up here, but is what it is. I guess worst comes to worst, we just use a loader. Problem solved. Oh. No, we're getting enough off. Okay, so it's not so bad. Lag, it was the best idea to stop it early than being on the front line. Huh. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So let's decide. What do I need for a landfill? Landfill is... Okay, it still weighs in. It's not too much, but we're going to have to research green science before I get to that. I'm thinking... uh, Because the biggest issue is this is in the way. If I could get rid of this body of water, landfill it, problem solved. I can bypass to the left. I probably want to go to the right, but the right's going to be where my oil field is. And that's the issue, whereas this is pristine. So, I guess we could go around it and try and build my production base over here. As long as this. Oceanside by 12 feet deep. Not bad. Okay. So, I'm just gonna start the main bus over here. This is going to be very belt pricey. Might want to get a second belt factory, honestly. over. Well, at least I have a silly amount of belts. So I guess this isn't so bad. Okay. Nope. Yeah, I guess I could use the construction bots for this, but I don't know. And yes, I'm going I'm going to leave my crash shift crashed ship intact. That thing's just gonna sit around. Looking pretty. Right. There's the copper. We're actually doing better on belts than I thought. I thought this was going to be... I was gonna run out, but we're in a good spot. And there's another 238. No, we're good. Let me see. Steel processing is done. So, near inserters... Uh, let's see. Could do that. Don't care about the steel axe. Uh, do we want to get the mini loader? Mini loader requires steel and fast inserters, but that's not terrible. Yeah, let's get the mini loaders. Doesn't mean we're going to need steel. Oh, 
Uh, double furnace. Ah. Okay. Double smelting. Modded thing. It lets me just, uh, smelt iron directly into steel. Not terribly expensive. Okay, we'll think about it. What happened if they added another enemy faction of those enemies to the insects? They'd probably fight amongst each other and I would be... bored. <laughs> Boring? Either or. Okay, uh, let's see. Get a couple assemblers. We've got a... We've got to set up some kind of basic wall production system or other. Otherwise, we're going to run into problems. Okay, do I got two? Yeah. Let's see. Doesn't need to be too fast. So we want to make walls. Oh. Well, this sucks. I forgot. They changed how walls work. You have to smelt the... Uh. All right. Uh, we might want to produce that elsewhere. Or something. When did walking robots became a, uh, become a thing? Mods, beautiful mods. Okay. So, I think what I want to do for this, probably just port it elsewhere on my own or something. It's not too bad. Inventory is full. Gosh. There we go. That should solve some problems. Okay. I've got two of these. Yeah, the biggest problem is I'm trying to make this industry way too close. I think I'm just gonna have to manually pull a lot of this stuff over myself. But it takes a while to make stone bricks anyway, so I don't think this is that big of a deal. How long is this game in production? Eight and a half years. Or wasn't this originally inspired by, like, a Minecraft mod? Or am I mistaken that? Yeah, let's get the logistic science packs. Because we're going to have to make them anyway. Hey! I'm actually uh, leveling up. Oh, from getting tech. Looks like most of my levels are going to be entirely from killing things. Victoria's units now. Wish it did. It'd be cool if, if this was like mild RTS where you could actually make your own like attack units. Man. I, I guess they're kind of similar, but if you could combine Factorio with uh, Creeper World, you'd have a really fascinating experience on your hands. Ooh, electricity's not looking happy. Well, time for madcap pollution, which means we we need to put things on hold, and I gotta get some gun turrets and walls. These iron sticks are easy to make. <sighs> Does mean we're gonna have to speed this up a lot. Let's see. You're right, there are the new spider bots. I haven't seen what those do yet. So I can't really comment too hard on 
how they function. Okay, so we want to do two, two. A little bit more. This is going to take a little bit of time. It's not bad. So Spider-Tron's pretty nice. Very creepy walking, but cool to roll around with. So it's a it's a vehicle then. It's not actually a uh, it's not like an automated machine. Because yeah, I'd love to have some basic patrol bots. Oh, they are remote controlled. Okay, I I just love to have some like basic security mechs that would uh, specifically you know patrol the base, and if uh, if there was a breach, they would flood it. And, you know, take out the invaders so I don't have to manually do so myself and aut automate the defenses. Is there no way to do a green run in this game? There are mods that let you do so. They have remote control with lots of rockets. Interesting. Okay, so it's not quite as advanced as I would have liked it to be, but it's still cool. Let's see, last one. Okay, get those burner inserter arms going. Get some basic pipes. Okay, cool. Uh, but so as far as green runs go with Factorio, it is, I'm not gonna say it's possible, uh, but there are, there are mods that let you have a greener run than normal. there for the time being. So specifically, I have a mod for air filtration. I don't have the capa capacity to, to do anything with it yet uh, because I don't have the tech, but eventually I will be able to pull a lot of the pollution out of the air. And that should really help me cut down on things. Speaking of... Okay, there's the repair turret. Maybe I don't have the filtration yet. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I might specifically, I might not have the, the green energy. I was thinking about wind, solar panel, uh, solar power plants instead of oil and coal. So solar is a thing. Uh, let's see, solar energy is a thing. It's a little expensive, uh, but it, actually it is what I'm going for next. We need steel before I get to that point, though. Okay, so that, that should give me considerable amounts of power. And then after this, we go pure solar fields. Ooh, I see. Oh. bunch of these. So I'm not using a whole lot of iron at this point, so it's not so bad. To just disregard. Uh, let's take a look. How bad? No, not bad at all, actually. My pollution ain't spreading too, too bad. Okay. So power poles. Everything is nice and squeaky clean. Okay. Oh, in retrospect, this might actually be. Clean. 
Alternatively, what we can do... Yeah, we, we really need those steel power poles. Uh, let's see. So let's, let's go for this first. Because if I can get those steel power poles, that makes my life easier. Problem is, I'm going to have to make 30 green science by hand. Well, that's actually not so bad. It's pretty bad. So in that case, let's... Waste some red science making, uh, just increasing my basic handcrafting speed. How you doing? Yeah, you're good. There we go. That's gonna take some time, but once I've got it, then we can go for the steel power poles and I don't have to truck with wood anymore. Uh, so let's go back to messing with this. Hopefully I have enough resources. I guess I could always just, uh... Ugh. Yeah, how many things do I have on hand built already? Nope. No. Okay, I've got five green. Let's make five... We'll just make green science whenever I'm, I'm not working on anything. So the real question is... Do I want to just have this super uneven... ...setup for a little while? It's kind of tempting to have a super uneven setup and then rip it up real quick. Or we could just ignore it super temporarily. Let's see. Isn't there a command to specifically increase your uh, your handcrafting speed? <laughs> I don't think that's... Okay. on the list there somewhere. I'm not seeing it. I shouldn't be lazy though. That's not. I actually probably should not have that much iron plates in my inventory. Shouldn't have this much copper in my inventory either. Ugh. Okay. How are we doing on handcrafting? It is a race. I am going to win, in fact. I was not expecting to actually uh, get the green signs done first. But you know what? It doesn't actually take that long. We'll just we'll just burn this. The whole thing has to build stuff for me anyway, so we'll just let it slowly absorb resources. And that's it. That's at 3k. Okay, that's not so bad. How are we doing on coal? Great. It'll be bad if this thing dries up. But I mean, actually, yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> I don't think I have a coal. Coal mine in sight, so I'd actually I'd have to outsource elsewhere. Ooh. That involves fighting, and I don't have grenades yet. And grenades? I need them. Okay. So do I want to just make some steel here? Because I, I could make steel here now. Nah, My insistence on having this crazy grid pattern, I think it screwed me over more than helped me. Well, it is what it is. So yeah, we're, we're just going to handcraft this. I... Okay. Yeah, I'll look it up. What, what, are, what are my console commands? What can I do? This is pulling teeth. Let's see. Change game speed. Oh, interesting. That's what it is.
Bam. Okay. Let's not do it that fast. Ten is still pretty dang fast. Thousand is obscene. Let's do five. That way, it stays within reason, but it doesn't take too long. But this way, we're not just sitting here staring slack-jawed at this game for a while while things craft, and I'll turn it off at a later date. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, bad. Guess you forgot to feed these with copper. Well, I guess this is one easy way for me to get rid of a lot of uh, inventory things. Gotta go fast. Bam! It's fun watching that tick down. It's also very slow. Well, that's all some of my inventory issues. <laughs> I this is this is cursed. This is only going to make people upset, but it will speed my life up for a little while. Okay, so now we've got four labs going, handcrafting. Let's not do handcrafting. We don't need it. <laughs> we don't need it anymore. Alright. Oh, this needs 120. That sucks a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Alright, back to handcrafting. Resume. It was times 30 seconds, not times 30 things. Oh. Well. Handcrafting is enough. So. Let's not be a turd. Let's actually, let's do this right. Okay, so to make an inserter, I'm going to need iron plates, iron gear wheels, and electronic circuits. This is what I did in, in uh, Satisfactory, and it wasn't great. Hey, thank you, Revark, for the five-month resub. Ms. Fry said, shut up and take my money. Yeah, thank you. Also, welcome, Dead Tired. First stream, love your channel, especially 3 out of 10 and Risk of Rain 2. I need to record 3 out of 10. I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. There's no rush, seeing as it's episodic, so I can just kind of get it done whenever. Um, uh, hmm. Okay. So the handcrafting speed upgrades are just going. I'm going to need to increase this. We need steel. We need... We need circuits. What do I need for cir circuits? Iron plates. Copper. Okay. Let's tear this up for a second. We yeah, have really been enjoying Risk of Rain a lot lately. I'd like to go back to it sooner than later. I We're going to be playing it again on Monday. Hopefully Rito's up for that. I was kind of tired yesterday, but I think it's just... This year has been really rough on a lot of the people I know. Uh, So, like... Oh, wow. I forgot I have, like, an insane number of underground belts that are just rolling. Uh, so I know both, like, a vac and, uh, Rhapsody have had to take mental health weekends-ish? Weeks overall? And that's actually apparently been quite stressful in and of itself. And, like, I know Rhapsody was talking about how he's been trying to get back to recording, and it's actually been a lot harder than he was expecting. And that's always been one of my persistent fears, is that, like, I know if I were to stop doing this as much as I do, uh, I think it would actually be much... Oh. Uh, I did this wrong. Uh, it's not so bad. Because, yeah, to make electronics, we need copper cables and iron plates. I know there's better ways to do this than what I'm probably going to do, but that's okay. Um, so, in that case, we need assembly machines going to this.
Hmm. Okay. Tear this up for a little bit. There's always a cleaner way to main bus. I, you know, there's got to be someone out there that has a m ultra massive blueprint that is the most efficient main bus base in existence, and that terrifies me. I guess it's not that weird, but it's just like I think I would lose my mind with that kind of level of efficiency. We actually want fast inserters. Oh shoot, I'm gonna need like a crazy inserter factory, aren't I? Okay. Well, here we are. This'll be this'll be a thing. Okay. This here. Splitter. I really gotta have these on the bar. Definitely don't need these anymore. Okay, there we go. That should be... That should be better. I'd like to get rid of these, but I don't know if it's time yet. Uh, let's see, and we want fast inserter arms. This is going to require it. Okay, crafting speed upgrade is done. Uh, let's start on... I could start on that. Okay, I'll make five of these at a time while I get this whole business sorted. Okay. There we go. That should be the iron. Probably need the fast inserters. Well, the crafting speed plus the just basic character crafting speed bonuses really ticks things up considerably. Okay, so you need to be making copper wire. And then we need power. None of this has power. Okay, so I'm going to almost immediately break my setup-ish for 100% proper power. Because we need good coverage for this. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's copper wire aplenty. We might actually need multiple fast inserters to deal with this. Well, I got the resources for it, so let's just go bananas. Do I have any more assembly machines? I do not. And the problem is I'm going to have to work on heavy scalability here if I really want this to do what I need it to do. Well... Oh. It's fine. Okay, so let's get assemblers. Make it solid 10. Okay, there we go. Oop. Yep. Snap it. All right. Uh, let's see. Where is it? There it is. Probably where mini loaders and loaders would actually come in handy, but oh well. Okay, this should be enough for electronic circuits. Spread them. There we go. 
Okay, make another five. This is going to take a little while. Oh, did they, uh, did they drastically reduce the stack size? They, you can have sitting in an assembler. Or has that always been that low? In this. Okay. Well, one way or another, here we go. We've got some green circuits going in. That's actually quite a bit. 